Peter is really what's eroded our culture of free speech in America. Meet Vivek Ramaswamy, the 37-year-old biotech entrepreneur who's challenging Trump in the Republican presidential nomination race. He is anti-abortion, anti-woke, and wears his Hindu faith on his sleeve. My name is Vivek Ramaswamy. I'm running for U.S. president. I'm the first millennial ever to run for president as a Republican. I've lived the full arc of the American dream, and the reason I'm doing this now is that we're in the middle of a national identity crisis. Faith, patriotism, hard work, and family have disappeared, only to be replaced by wokeism, transgenderism, climatism, and covidism. They prey on a vacuum at the heart of our soul where my generation, we hunger to be part of something bigger than ourselves, yet we can't even answer what it means to be an American. I'm all for the America First agenda, but to put America first, we need to rediscover what America is. And that's the movement that I'm now looking to lead. Vivek Ramaswamy was born in Cincinnati in Ohio to Indian immigrant parents who hailed from Kerala. They spoke Tamil at home, prayed daily, read Hindu epics, and visited temples often. Vivek and his wife Apurva plan to raise their two sons as Hindus. For me, the finish line is January of 2033, when I leave office. My older son, I have two sons, my older son won't even be in high school yet. I'm doing this because I want to create a country for them. I used to say it like the country I had the opportunity to grow up in. I increasingly think it could be a country even greater than the country that I grew up in in this country. I want to tell you in January 2033, that's what moves me. What do I want to tell you all when I'm leaving the White House? I want to tell you that once again in the United States of America, we again have three branches, co-equal branches of government, not four, that we shut down the unconstitutional administrative state. I want to tell you in January 2033, that we as Americans are no longer dependent on our enemy, communist China, for our modern way of life. That is not a nation. I want to tell you in January 2033 that American exceptionalism is alive and well, that our economy is growing at the fastest rate of any nation in the developed world once again. I want to tell you in January 2033, most importantly of all, that young Americans, all Americans, we are once again proud to be citizens of this nation. I would like... While Ramaswamy is up against Trump in the Republican nomination race, he's also a vocal supporter of the former president. I am running for U.S. president in that same Republican primary. It would be easier for me if Donald Trump were eliminated from competition. That's not how I want to win. This is not about politics to me. This is about first principles. We do not want to become a country where the party in power is able to use banana republic-like tactics to eliminate its political opponents. Yet I'm sad to say that's exactly where we are. The allegations in this indictment fall flat. It is wrong and incorrect and inaccurate to place blame for what happened on January 6th at the feet of Donald Trump. I said this at the time. I've said it ever since then. I continue to say it today. I would not have made the same judgments that Donald Trump did in how he handled that day. But that's different from saying that he committed a crime. He did not. He specifically told the protesters that day to behave peacefully. The First Amendment in this country gives political protesters, the ability to express themselves and their opinions freely. Donald Trump was not responsible for what happened on January 6th. Just like Trump, Ramaswamy hasn't shied from making personal targeted attacks against Joe Biden. We speak the truth not when it is easy, but when it is hard. Hardship is something that happens to you. Victimhood is a choice. We don't choose to be victims. We choose to be victorious. We are victorious when we speak the truth. So that is what we're going to do today. Let us stand up and speak that truth. God is real. There are two genders. 
fossil fuels are a requirement for human prosperity. Reverse racism is racism. An open border is not a border. Parents determine the education of their children. The nuclear family is the best known form of governance to mankind. Capitalism is the best system known to man to lift people up from poverty. There are three branches of government, not four, and our U.S. Constitution is the strongest guarantor of freedom in human history. That is the truth. We stand up for the truth. We fight for the truth. That is what won us the American Revolution. That is what will win us the revolution of 2024. Thank you all, Iowa. It's good to be back. God bless you. God bless your families. And may God bless our great nation. Thank you. Thank you. At the end of the day, Vivek Ramaswamy is vying for a nomination in a party where evangelical Christian support is key. That's why he claims his religion is similar to the judo-Christian values that America is founded on. But will that be acceptable to the Republican Party's Christian voters?